Sierra November Sierra 5 uh, Kilo, Roger. That's a Roger. And what's the name there, please, sir? Uh, the name here is Ron, and uh, I just got my station up and running just a few minutes ago and heard you in there and uh, wanted to see what you had to say. Well, Ron, gosh, uh, whereabouts are you? What's your location? I'm uh, just a little north of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Roger, Roger, what radio are you running? I'm running the ICOM 7800. Roger, that sounds good. Tell me about your antenna system. Okay, I've got an in-fed inverted V up at about uh, 70 feet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, tell me the best thing. I'm trying trying to listen to your audio just a little bit. Tell me the best thing you like about your radio. Okay, well, I haven't had it a, a real long time. I've got it from a silent key that I've known all my life. And uh, so far, it seems to be uh, working real good. I like to receive on it. It's got a really good receiver over. Roger, Roger. Well, you have a, a very uh, good uh, audio spectrum, uh, and it uh, looks like your dynamic range is, again, uh, around 3 dB, which makes for a very full uh, modulation, uh, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation. Roger. Oh, that's, that sounds good then. I wasn't sure if uh, it was, you know, all the audio was set correctly or not. And I read the book and it said, here's where to start out, and that's what I did. And uh, so evidently uh, the book is pretty close to correct. Roger. Now, there is one thing that I would change. Uh, I would uh, put your compression at about a 3. I think it might be up around a 5 or a 6 right now. I would uh, lower that compression level to about a 3, Roger. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that and uh, see if that'll, if that'll change anything. Roger. What that uh, does, uh, a 3 is uh, ideal. Uh, when you get past that, you start having a suck-up between words, and you start hearing the wife in the back room beating the kids, you know. Oh, okay. Well, I changed it uh, right there on the front of the radio. Did uh, that help it any right there? Uh, your, uh, no, <laughs> your uh, frequency response uh, of your audio seems to be pretty mid-rangey. Uh, uh, <laughs> I put it back like it was. Okay, there's uh, back like it was. Just, you know, changing the thing on the front of the radio. I can go into the menu uh, later and I'll crank it back just a little bit. Yeah, I, I think I just leave it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the, what was it that you adjusted uh, on the on the radio, the front end of the radio. Okay, I changed it from uh, compression wide to compression normal. Okay, so uh, it was compression normal that uh, wasn't as good as compression wide. Yes, that's that is correct. Yeah, I would leave it just where it is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch a thing. I would call it close enough and uh, get the uh, super glue and uh, glue it down. Well, I really appreciate that, and uh, uh, I've been listening to you uh, talk to these other guys, and uh, boy, you got some good information going out over the airways today. So, all right. Well, I'll say 73s to you, and uh, I'll be looking to listen to you some more. NS5K. Roger, Roger, Ron. Now, um, it is Ron, it, Roger? Yes, it's Ron, R-O-N. Sure is. Roger, Ron. Uh, the one thing I would suggest, uh, what type of mic are you using now? I'm using the uh, Howl PR761. Roger. Does that have a windscreen? No, it does not, but I need one. Yes, sir. I would go down to my local music store and uh, and, and just get a... Uh, a um, fiber, <laughs> fiber, <laughs> an in, uh, windscreen, uh, you know, and uh, slip it on that mic. Uh, it just take care of the last little bits of uh, uh, mouth noise, Roger. Okay, well that sounds good. Boy, you've got a good ear for audio and all. I, I really appreciate that. Roger. Well, we're just, you know, a windscreen can just uh, solve uh, so much. Uh, 
uh, problems. It, it doesn't create any. It passes all the frequencies necessary, but it just uh, breaks up those uh, wind turbulence uh, from your, your mouth, you know, and uh, that way uh, you can work right on top of that mic. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I am talking on a homebrew condenser mic, and I'm uh, right up in it, but I do have a windscreen to, uh, to uh, make it uh, all sound right. Roger. Okay. Well, if mine, if I can get mine sounded just about half like yours, I'll be uh, completely satisfied. Roger. Well, thank you so much, sir. Uh, let me say threes down that way, and you have a, a real good weekend, Roger. Okay. Seventy threes, and you have a good weekend also. NS5K. Roger, Roger. This is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and uh, the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.